Hello everyone. So today I have my very very best friend with me. We are friends for like over how many? Twenty five years. Yeah. yeah. We studied together in Jain College, and uh, she, I don't think you should be she, telling that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so today she is here to uh, ask me certain things because this side of me she is not seen too much. We were very playful in college, and we never thought I will be an astrologer. So um, over to Shalini. Shalini is a homemaker, and she's a great mother, uh, lovely wife, and more than anything else, uh, she plans itineraries on travel for all her friends. Very very generous, free of cost, of course. So uh, yeah, over to Shalini. Okay, so people do astrology consultations with you, right? Yeah, and then you do remedies for them. Every time, does it work? That's a very good question. See, it, it depends on the kind of prayer they have, Shal. Uh -huh. So, what happens is some people are very unreasonable with their prayers. They don't have realistic goals. So, I'll give you one example. So, this one person, uh, he was in his, he still is, in his mid-50s. Uh -huh. And he doesn't have a consistent uh, source of income. He's totally depending on his girlfriend for money. Uh -huh. And and he has, he reached out to me saying, I want to get this talisman from you, where I get 1500 crores. Uh -huh. So, from zero income to 1500 crores. So, even before you make a prayer like that, you need to ch at least check if your chart warrants uh -huh. a sudden wealth. Or we call it Akasmika uh -huh. Dhana Prapti. So, at least you should have that in your destiny, right? So, without anything, you just jump and then you have an unrealistic goal. Uh -huh. That is one, one thing that may not work. Okay, it will not work. And in fact, we tell them also that, you know, I don't think this will happen. And they want it in a very short span of time. Mm -hmm. They're like, in 48 days, I want sudden wealth. I think I deserve. So, they think they deserve 1500 crores. That doesn't warrant you to get that. So, what makes them so deserving than others then? So, it's their past life karmas, which will be reflected in the present chart. So, mm -hmm. we'll have to see certain combination of planets like Buddha and Shukra, uh, how they are placed in the chart, especially if they are in the 12th house and if they are aspected by Guru. How they are placed, are they in the 11th house, are they in the 12th house, what is that portfolio? So, all these things do matter. So, first get yourself checked, that is one thing. Second thing is, many many people go to different astrologers, get pujas done and mm -hmm. then they come back to me and say, it's nothing has worked. But still they have hope. So, the thing I tell them is, you do basic due diligence and ask certain questions. So, what are the remedies being done? Mm. Do you think it's proportionate to, you know, spend X amount of money and get say something else hmm. like for example you spent 1000 rupees on a puja and you're asking for 1 crore hmm. is there any proportion uh -huh. so you have to put in effort see physically you're doing your business development you also spend on ads you do your business marketing hmm. growth and all that right likewise even spiritually you have to strengthen your planets and karma uh -huh. so you'll have to put in that much effort you don't you you put 1000 rupees you expect 1 crore it's not going to work uh -huh. so that is another reason why the remedies will not work and also how qualified are your priests and uh, you know uh, whom do to you perform assign? the pujas for you yeah so you should know the who is doing what you uh -huh. get a background check done ask the relevant questions and uh, most important thing uh, that happened recently is that people commit crimes i'm not uh -huh. joking they commit crimes and they reach out to me and say they want to do remedies to escape and they don't atone Mm -hmm. Like they misbehave with a woman and then the girl files a rape case and all that mm -hmm. for example. They, they just reach out to me and say that you know I want to be forgiven. And you are not even asking forgiveness to that girl. So mm -hmm. how is that, how you know unethical prayers mm -hmm. gods will not respond to. So even, so many times I am in dark because when they reach out they don't, they only tell their side of the story. Exactly. So we don't know the whole picture. And unless they show their chart, we don't know. And some of them don't even want to do all that. They just want to paint a nice picture about mm. themselves. And then they say, yeah, yeah, you just do it. And then if it doesn't work, then I know that maybe their prayer is not ethical. Mm -hmm. And it was a one-sided story. But do these kind of prayers work? Prayers work. Prayers definitely work. But not unethical For ones. people like them? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't, mm -hmm. unless you atone, like uh, that's called prayashita and paschadab, mm -hmm. okay. So, those things you have to do, like you mm -hmm. pray to God for forgiveness. If possible, if you are in contact with that person, you should even seek forgiveness mm -hmm. from that person. Like there are people who commit crimes like uh, they would evade taxes mm -hmm. and they'll expect Shani not to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hit. Them. That's not going to work. So, you have to be ethical and if, and there are still people who are very ethical and they get stuck for no reason. Mm -hmm. So, they go through the inco uh, income tax hassle and all mm -hmm. and then they come out clean. They come out clean because they are not mis made any mistake. Mm -hmm. Maybe there was something with the government in, as per their karma for which they mm -hmm. had to suffer. 
but what about people you know who say oh god i've never done anything bad in my life why is why are things like bad why bad things happen to good people yeah see because the moment you're born your karma is fixed mm. and your planets are fixed mm. so on what basis is it fixed because of the past life mm-hmm. your past life karmas decide your present life mm-hmm. your present life karmas de- decide to an extent this life and then the next life also so ah. so it's like you may be the best person in the world in this life so, mm-hmm. but you don't know what you've done in the past so in astrology through the fifth house lord Uh, based on the ascendant mm. sign it's a technical thing we find out how good or bad your past life karma is oh okay just see the quality of life you're leading mm. right now that will only tell how good or bad your past life karma has been so i know people who like uh, you know who had very um, you know bad childhood mm. or they have struggled all their life their past life karmas will be very very bad but do they do like if they have struggled through childhood do they do better in their adulthood some Does of them get do. better some of them do especially after pujas. marriage no no after pujas is one thing uh-huh. definitely and uh, after marriage also or after they turn 30 mm-hmm. the navamsha chakra gets activated so that's another so see uh-huh. nothing is permanent okay god uh-huh. has always given us an option to get Set better it right yeah. yeah and that is called free will Mm-hmm. one is destiny we are destined mm-hmm. to be in a certain way but then there is also something where you are you have free will like you can mm-hmm. make changes it's not like oh this is how it is so it will be that all my life i'm going to suffer nothing mm-hmm. like that we all have choices we have to be very conscious of what mm-hmm. we choose like you could also choose nice. a shortcut and and make quick money and mm-hmm. you can lose money in no time correct yeah yeah that's how it is like rahu and surya for example can give you like instant downfall mm-hmm. but uh, all the yogas are not always active mm-hmm. so, so that's another thing shall so like some people have gajakesar yoga lakshmi narayan yoga so they'll always say like you know i have the best of yogas that's what all astrologers tell me mm-hmm. but still why is my financial Which state so bad, bad. Uh. so they are not always active they will be dormant mm-hmm. during the dasha or the ruling period of that planet mm-hmm. and then the planetary transits happen the gochar happens so that is when they become active so that's why you see that sometimes you make a lot of money and sometimes you are very, you know you're very dull and sober it all depends on the planets and their influence very insightful thank you